everyone. Apologies for coming on a little late. I was having some troubles with sharing my screen and um, getting my face alongside these slides, but it looks like with Facebook, we are only able to show one or the other, and I could not figure out this other app I was using. So for this class, it will be slides based, but I just got done editing and adding in some fun pictures and information for all of you. Um, and so I am really excited to be able to teach you this little intro essential oils class. So again, I mentioned in the post earlier today, if you are new to essential oils, welcome. This is a perfect class for you to um, get to know why we use essential oils, what they are, a little bit about me, if someone else added you to this group, um, and just kind of understand what they are and what they can do for you and your family. So um, like I said, welcome. And if you have questions as we go through these, please feel free to leave them in the comments and I would love to answer them as we go through. Um, this one might be a little longer than the rest of the ones in September just because it is um, a basic introductory class and I wanna make sure everything that I feel you guys need to know is covered in this, in this basic intro class. So to get started, I wanted to introduce a little bit about myself. So again, those of you new to the group or someone else might have added you, my name is Kim Leskovic. I am the founder of this Happy Highest You Oil Tribe group, and I'm a recently certified yoga teacher, as well as an essential oil teacher, retreat guide. We are having our Soulful Homecoming Fall Retreat in Galena, Illinois, this coming October. And I'm also a business mentor, so I am in the process of actually growing my doTERRA team. I am a doTERRA premier leader, and I, it has been an honor to do this business and an honor to connect with people and show them a way to take care of themselves, to empower themselves, and to be able to share that with their friends and families as well. So I'm just going to make sure that's perfect. And then I have Instagram. So I'm actually active on Facebook and Instagram for social media. So if you would like to follow me for more like um, stories and posts on essential oil information, um, you can find me at Kim Leskovic on Instagram. And so this class is going to be all about teaching you how to empower yourselves in your life. Empower yourself with choices, with tools, with routines, and a community of people that are doing this with you. Um, we'll go into this a little bit into the class, but one of the main next steps that you have with these oils is to surround your people or to surround yourself with people and routines that are really going to support this lifestyle and your overall health and happiness. So a little bit, a little bit about me and my journey. Um, I, I picked these pictures because I wanted to kind of go through a little story of kind of where I was at at the end of my senior year and kind of throughout college um, and really discovering like my purpose. Um, college was definitely a place where we had to start deciding on what our majors were. We had to start deciding what new friends we were going to hang out with. We had to make a lot of big decisions. Um, and then going forward and graduating, um, more decisions into adulthood obviously come up. And so I have on the left um, a picture of myself at Panama City Beach on a spring break in college. I have myself hiking in Lake McBride. And then I have that graduation picture. And so these, all these pictures, I'm smiling or smirking, I guess. Um, but honestly, inside looking back, I had my friends, I had amazing opportunities, I traveled, um, but I wasn't, I wasn't feeling love for myself. And I wasn't feeling the fulfillment I desired. And I wasn't, I'm a very knowing now, I'm a very purpose um, helping, serving type of person. And I, I didn't know how I could do that. And so I was very judgmental towards myself. 
throughout college, I was very judgmental towards other people um, in order to kind of protect myself and make myself feel safe. And then we have kind of in the middle um, a picture of me camping with my sister in Colorado. And so this was the summer after graduation when I was still kind of applying for jobs, um, exploring kind of what my interests were. And this was a time where I was able to just kind of unplug, unplug from comparis comparing myself, be out in nature, be surrounded by connection to people who supported me and also just be able to sit in stillness and to connect with that nature. And you'll kind of see why I'm talking about this as we go into essential oils because they purely are nature themselves. Um, and so I, I picked that picture because it was, a, it was a turning point. It was, it was an experience that allowed me to be in nature, connect with my thoughts, connect with my truer self, and know that it was all going to be okay. Knowing that I hadn't moved to Chicago yet, but I was, I kind of was in that time during this, during this trip to Colorado, exploring that option. And this trip gave me clarity. It gave me understanding that I could move to Chicago and I would still be okay. And so I was doing a lot of soul searching during this time after college. And I picked the next picture because this was shortly after a chakra cleanse course um, that I took, which really developed my confidence and really developed my own unique gifts and talents. And it really, this course really allowed me to use essential oils, to use meditation, to get myself in the energy, to be confident, to speak out um, of love and speak out my truth and to be confident in what I was saying, no matter other people's opinions. So I love that picture um, with the microphone and giving a little reading at my cousin's wedding. Um, it, it just makes me, it, it helps me to see my growth of not, not being as scared to, to speak out and much more confident in that picture. Hi, Leslie. And then lastly, this picture of me and my boyfriend. So throughout college, again, if, if I'm being judgmental towards other people and I'm being judgmental towards myself, it can really affect how you give your love to other people. And we did this photo shoot and our relationship together has grown so much because honestly, I've been loving myself more. I've been taking care of myself more. I've found natural solutions to support my discomfort with my digestion, my headaches, and those were the things that I would take out on other people because I wasn't feeling good myself, okay? So I feel that this last picture of me, I am just, I feel just way more happy. I feel like that's a true, like loving connection that I'm giving off in that picture. And I just wanted to kind of share this progression with you of, of kind of how I was feeling and how and how my journey with yoga, essential oils, and meditation really, really started at this period of wanting to find and not find, but remember who I really was and remember why I was here and truly love myself and understand myself so I could give that to my relationships and so I could better serve the world in a work environment that mattered to me. So this is just a little disclaimer that these products are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. They're intended to supplement and support your health and wellness. And so there are two paths um, when it comes to healthcare. Um, the first one is where it's synthetically produced and um, is based on kind of like the side effects of what someone is experiencing. So you go into the doctor, you tell them what's happening. The doctor prescribes a meditation and we use this, or <laughs> the doctor prescribes a medication and we use this um, and it either works or it doesn't, okay? So, and on the opposite side, we have nature. So nature produces these plants that we make into essential oils. Um, the plants meet the body's needs and the body is able to use those oils, use that plant magic to heal itself. And so 
honestly, um, a little bit about this and my story. Um, I was, again, during, during this time, I'll just kind of go back. During this time on the left, I was, again, I, like I said, I struggled with digestion. I struggled with headaches. I struggled with other women's health issues. And I remember going in and getting antibiotics. I remember going in and asking for um, help with my family to get my digestion, like some clarity around my digestion. And I tried the antibiotics. Those absolutely like were either they worked or they didn't and really made me feel sick and increased my headaches, increased my just stomach discomfort. Um, that was going for more of like the um, infection type of <laughs> sides of things. But then I went in and um, worked on trying to figure out my digestion, okay? Because at this time, I didn't realize that the mind, body, soul connection was all aligned. And so I was like, I knew this wasn't something that I, I wasn't giving into the idea that this was something I was going to have to live with and that I couldn't be happier in my life. And so I, I kept trying different things. I kept talking to people about it um, kind of unconsciously. I would say my stomach hurt every time I ate. Um, and again, I, I would get these like tension headaches now that I know what they're caused from now. Um, because I wasn't managing my stress, I was allowing myself to get so worked up, holding back on what it is I wanted to say, holding back um, all these things I had to juggle and not asking for help. Um, so a lot of stress management caused these headaches too. Um, and so going forward, we can see that um, I might have been eating right. I might have been running and doing yoga. But again, if I was not resting and managing my stress well, I was still going to get that stomach discomfort, um, that lashing out in relationships, the headaches. Um, and as I moved to Chicago, I began to kind of take managing my stress and my sleep very seriously. Um, and I also took reducing my toxic load seriously. So I began to kind of look at my ingredients. Um, in college, I, I um, took a food and mood psychology class. So I kind of, with that and exercise of kind of always being a runner, getting into yoga in college, and then trying to try um, different foods and really going into that class of food and mood psychology, I feel like I had those two bottom ones pretty down. Um, and so I really didn't understand why my digestion was so off um, because a lot of people say it's your diet. They say it's your exercise, your water intake. Um, and so kind of going into that, I, as I moved to Chicago, again, I took the managing stress into my own hands and began to do yoga daily. I would search videos for yoga and headaches, yoga for digestion. Um, I remember like applying for jobs and immediately after or before doing a yoga practice. Um, and I feel like I had better routines in place and patterns. And I started to shift my patterns. Of, okay, if this causes me stress, how can I set myself up for success? Um, and then I started following Alicia Leadham, um, founder of the Zen Babe Tribe. And she really introduced me to this minimalistic, non-toxic lifestyle. So I began to look at my labels, my perfumes, my shampoo and conditioner, and I really wanted to minimize the cleaning solutions and stuff in my home as well. And so that's all lifestyle at the bottom of the doTERRA wellness lifestyle pyramid. And um, above is kind of where essential oils come into with that informed self-care of how can we take care of ourselves and how can we be proactive by going and seeing a doctor regularly, making sure our checkups are good, but also knowing how and what essential oils we can use when things do come up in our life um, so we can feel empowered. And so here's just some things to kind of check in as you're watching um, of how you can use essential oils physically, emotionally, and spiritually. So currently, like I said, I struggled from a number of different physical ailments, but where in your physical body do you feel um, that you could kind of use some balance, that you could use more energy, maybe some pain management, 
maybe more strength in supporting a certain area. So if you have a notebook or a piece of paper by you, I encourage you to kind of just jot down some things of, of how you're currently feeling in your body. And number two, spiritual. So this is like how strong is your connection with your higher power to your friends and family. This is where my relationships kind of came in. I was really getting frustrated that I was lashing out at people and that I was not taking responsibility for my actions and being able to prevent that, being able to not feel as stressed. I remember kind of the awareness around this. It was when my boyfriend would come into town and I would be writing papers and I would put it off to the last minute and not take care of my stress. And so therefore I would take that stress of having to do this paper out on him and not take responsibility to set myself up for a good relationship and a good sense of communication with that, or at least allow him to know how I'm feeling, <laughs> you know? Um, and so again, like how grateful, for, how grateful do you feel? So in that time after college, I was very sad. I was very lonely, not knowing um, that people just didn't get it. They didn't understand what I was going through. I couldn't really explain it. I couldn't describe what it is I wanted and what I was looking for in a job. Um, and so I really didn't have that like gratitude practice. And that is something that's really helped me right now too. And again, feeling connected to a higher purpose, feeling connected to this essential oil community, these people that get it, um, my business team. And then lastly, emotional. So do circumstances control how you show up? How stable are you? So if something comes into your life, does it immediately like trigger something in your body, tense it, like tense your muscles, make you just like forget how to do everything else? Um, I feel like I definitely allowed certain instances um, before I found essential oils and the in these routines that I've established. Um, I allowed those to to affect my mood going throughout the day, um, and I remember some of the classes I took in college too, where I started noticing what I was interested in was like positive psychology and food and mood. So really like packing my meals um, and also going into my day with positive, happy thoughts and, and affirmations that I could kind of um, think about as I was going into long work days. So definitely jot some of this stuff down and with no judgment, this is just an honest inventory of like where you can kind of improve and um, this bottom quote, this is from our upline mentor, these, this slide specifically, and it says, perfection is not the goal, progression is, moving the needle a small amount on a consistent basis. And that's something that I have kind of struggled with too for a while, um, is letting go of perfectionism and just doing little things um, as I learn. And if something comes up that I learned more about and my previous thoughts weren't as valid as be as they are now with something, um, it's okay to change your mind. That's something too that I've really, really come to understand. Um, I just cooked with essential oils yesterday and um, the recipe wasn't great and it's never going to always be perfect. So just remember that as you start experimenting with diffuser blends and trying out different oils. Um, it's not about perfection. It's just about finding what works for you and learning from what doesn't. So what are essential oils? Essential oils are aromatic compounds that are extracted and distilled from the leaves, seeds, um, roots of plants. And I actually just watched a video on this and because I was curious about like what steam distillation actually means. And for me, it was easy to think about how they distill, like at a distillery, like beer. Um, they put the plant in this big, like, like steel, stainless steel bin, and they were like packing down the lavender um, to make sure there's no air pockets. And then they close the lid and they create this steam. And the steam actually hits a, so there's like a ratio between water and steam. And then the steam, will hit like this cold pipe and turn the the um, the stuff inside back into a water oil um, mixture that drains into this container. And from that container, they um, separate the oil and the water and that's how you get your essential oils. And so um, 
yeah, I just was kind of curious about that because me and my sister were just talking about like, okay, so what does like distilled actually mean and how are they extracted? So I wanted to share a little bit of insight on that. And essential oils are just super concentrated. So you might have heard that there's a ton of benefits from different herbs, um, such as mint and spearmint and lavender. Um, but a cup of, or so a drop of peppermint is actually equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea. So it's very effective, it's very um, potent and strong. Um, and so it's able to support us on a cellular level getting into our bloodstream and going into the body where it's it's most needed. So again, there are different types of grading when it comes to essential oils. So you'll hear about this a lot that different stores are coming out or different companies are coming out with essential oil lines. And you just want to make sure you're doing your research and being really um, empowered to take the this education seriously and to take your research seriously. So we have four different gradings. The first one, synthetic. So those can be um, added fillers, um, scents in your lotions, like fragrances. Um, so you wanna like check your labels. I did a whole video on that. If you wanna use the search tab in our Happy High ST Oil Tribe um, on the danger of fragrances. Um, and then we have the food. So it says generally regarded as safe by the FDA for food additives, preservatives, cosmetics, and essential oils. There's no government body or organization that approves essential oil quality. So we have the therapeutic health benefit where um, I was just watching a video and I know people that use like those big bottles of essential oils that you can get like in bulk on Amazon. Um, and it's just like you use that like all over to massage your body. Um, but we actually do have a couple massage therapists on our Zen Babe Tribe team. And I also personally have gone to a massage and had them use our aroma touch massage blend oil and they the masseuse actually said wow that actually made me feel good giving it like it it helped me like be more into the massage more alert um and so luckily i or unfortunately i did not have a sample with me at that time but i will definitely take those with me next time so lastly we have our certified pure therapeutic grade at and the, these are doTERRA oils so um, what this means is that doTERRA really takes our sourcing seriously. Um, what, what you can do if you're curious about the sourcing of your individual bottles is go to this website, source to you and type in the little code on the bottom of your bottle and it will pull up, um, this exact bottle, um, and the test results of what's in that. So I've done that with lemon and a couple other ones. And I think it's really cool to see exactly where it comes from, um, and how it was made because not many companies tell us that. And also one thing I do wanna to mention too, something that's really cool about doTERRA is they source our oils um, where the plant thrives in its natural habitat best. So that has to do with climate, that has to do with the soil, um, just everything that is in the environment as well as the, the, um, the workers. Doterra takes care of their workers because this is such um, a trendy product nowadays. I feel like um, it's important to pay the growers and the manufacturers like what what it's worth, you know. So um, we often I often see in a lot of Doterra videos that these workers are super grateful to be able to work with Doterra because they feel that they for the quality that they are producing they are getting rewarded. Um, back in, in payment for that. So that's super awesome. And then using essential oils. So there are three main ways we use essential oils. The first one is aromatic. So dispersing the oil through the air, whether that's unscrewing the top and letting those molecules fill the air around you. Um, it can be putting a couple drops in your diffuser um, it can be diffusing in the car, um, on a clothespin or a car diffuser. And that's like just putting the molecules out into the air. It's cleansing the air. It's also allowing us to breathe it in and get to our limbic system in our brain in order to shift our mood, to shift our focus um, and allow us to feel really good. And also the 
aromatic. I don't know about you guys, but um, I can associate an experience um, and a memory with my sense of smell. Um, a lot of smells can take me back to my childhood, the smell of fresh cut grass, the smell of the ocean, um, just a number of different things, whether that's food. Um, and so it's, it's becoming more and more relevant that the aromatic benefits and associated to memory and focus are really helpful for people as well. So the second one is topical, and um, we can use our oils topically with fractionated coconut oil. We can make roller bottles um, with 20 drops of essential oils and fill the rest with um, fractionated coconut oil and roll those on certain spots. And then we can also just apply essential oils neat to targeted areas. And lastly is our internal use. So I love to put citrus, like a drop of citrus oil in my mason jar of water, um, make sure it's stainless steel or glass so it doesn't break down the plastic in your water. Um, and then also I love to take frankincense and copaiba in a veggie capsule. So those are the three main ways we use essential oils. And I basically covered <laughs> these slides. Um, so really breathing in and having an emotional, physical effect. Applying topically with either lotion or a carrier oil, such as coconut oil. And then internally. So they have some lemon there. And it's just important as you start out with essential oils, um, a lot of people are intimidated, but really it just comes it just comes to learning the safety around them. The main ones are knowing your hot oils, especially for little kids. Um, oregano, thyme, cinnamon, cassia, and clove. And I learned um, about these hot oils through my own experience with cinnamon. It just takes, um, so I made a roller bottle for an emotional blend and I applied it to my armpit creases. And my skin just got a little red and irritated. But once I added more fractionated coconut oil to that roller bottle, and you can apply that fractionated coconut oil right over the area that kind of gets more sensitive. Um, it really does take away that sting. It takes away that redness. So um, just being cautious of your hot oils and maybe diluting more as necessary. And then also be aware of photosensitive oils such as citrus oils, bergamot especially, um, and not using those if you um, are going to be out in direct sunlight. So, um, so yeah, it says up to 24 hours. So just be careful. And then um, also just wash your hands really well. Don't wipe your eyes after like touching peppermint um, and use start small, less is more. And also just make sure you're properly storing your oils with your cap sealed really tight um, so they have a longer lasting power and keeping them out of the heat will really help as well. How are we doing on questions, guys? Thanks for joining me live. And then I wanted to go into our top 10 most popular oils. So these are definitely oils that have helped me so much. Um, the first one is peppermint. So peppermint is a beautiful, beautiful oil. Um, so as we can see, it's, the, it's taken from the whole, <laughs> the whole plant part of the peppermint leaf. And um, it's minty, it's hot, it's herbaceous, and it promotes healthy respiratory function. I always think of peppermint with, for digestion, head tension, um, feeling really fatigued or low on energy. I love diffusing peppermint with wild orange, um, and I also really love this one for my headaches. <laughs> um, so what I'll do is I'll actually do a layer of peppermint over my forehead and a layer of frankincense, and um, this really does help just relieve um, any tension and help support me in feeling better faster. Again, with headaches, I found that it's, it's more of like prevention and really getting it, um, helping support yourself right on the onset and knowing when you're stressed and kind of using it as a preventative so it doesn't get to the point where the oils don't really do much, you know? Um, but yeah, peppermint is a love. Lavender, very relaxing, great for sleep, great for stress. Um, applying to the back of your neck topically would be a great way or the bottoms of your feet right before bed to help you relax, to ease stress. Um, but then I also like just love diffusing lavender with lime um, or using this one in the bath. 
And we have lemon. Lemon, again, I, I love lemon for putting in a mason jar of water. It's very refreshing if you don't have fresh lemons on hand all the time. And then I also love lemon for focus. Like if I know I need to get some stuff done, I'll throw lemon and peppermint in the diffuser. And that's a great option to really not only cleanse the air, but also um, give you a positive mood. And emotionally, it's the oil of focus. So you're not only getting like an uplifted feeling, but you're also like zeroing in on what you have to do. We have melaleuca. So melaleuca is really great for um, environmental threats and supporting a healthy immune function. And it's also, it has a property of antibacterial in it too. So it's really great for cleaning your makeup brushes, cleaning your toothbrushes, um, as you can kind of see on the left of this picture. Um, but it's also great for using in your like surface cleaners, all purpose cleaners, um, as well as cleansing your face. So if you want to use this one for spot treatment, that's kind of how I use it in my skincare. Then we have oregano. So oregano is becoming more known for its immu immune boosting properties. I see this at like juice restaurants and like those little like juice shots you can get with the oil, like oil of oregano is always on the menu. Um, but you can also make like a really cool, um, not cool, um, helpful foot wrap with oregano and wrap your feet in um, warm washcloths with this one. And it will really help you to like build up your immune system, help support it going into like a school year, or maybe you're just feeling really run down after some travel. And then obviously you can add to your favorite entree dishes um, like marinara sauce too. Frankincense. Frankincense is an everyday oil for me. It's the oil of truth emotionally. I love applying it over my heart, um, as well as taking it internally with copaiba, like I said, in those veggie capsules. It really helps shift my mood to be more positive. It's great for your skin. It is the king of all oils, so it has a variety of different things it can really help you for. And um, the fact it's in this top 10 um, essential oils is a no-brainer. So um, love frankincense. It's also really great for... Um, like brain function and support. So again, pairing that with lemon for focus and relaxation could be really helpful as well. Then we have breathe. So breathe is our respiratory blend. And um, along with digestion, head tension, I also really struggled with immune immunity and supporting myself as seasons changed and I underwent a lot of stress. Um, I remember taking over-the-counter stuff for my allergies. I remember like itchy, watery eyes, runny nose, um, and then that in result would turn into a cough. And I was always just feeling this cycle of every year around the same time I was getting these, um, and the over-the-counter stuff just wasn't working for me again. And so I just felt like I was taking medicine just to take it, and I hated it, um, especially when I traveled abroad and like, I just got this really bad cough and nothing was working. It was very frustrating <laughs> and you can feel like you're crazy. Um, so breathe respiratory blend. It helps clear your airways. It helps you to open your heart emotionally. It's the oil of breath. And it also is just a great promoter for sleep and, and just helping you to breathe and relax. So I am in love with this oil. It holds a special place in my heart for just feeling well and um, also supporting me in times of season change and stress. Then we have deep blue. Like I just, so many of these oils have helped me in high school and college, training for a marathon. Um, this oil is great for any sore muscles. Maybe you're on your feet all day. Um, maybe your back's been hurting as you're doing some heavy lifting, you're gardening. Um, Maybe you are a runner or you do yoga and you want something to help support your tight hips or tight muscles. Um, maybe you're, it's your knees, like it says on the right. Um, these are all kind of some things that I kind of struggled with, so I'm just listing a few. But Deep Blue is amazing. It's very soothing. It has wintergreen in it. Um, it's, it's nature's version of Icy Hot, as we like to call it. And it's, it's just very minty, minty and um, soothing to your muscles. So... Again, you can um, use this with lotion. You can use this in your baths, um, making sure to dilute it with a carrier oil or um, um, Epsom salts. And as you can see on the bottom of this 
slide under the essential oil tip, it also is helping you with your kids and getting into a routine with your kids and maybe some of their growing pains before bedtime. And then we have On Guard. So along with Breathe, I am also obsessed. Like people always ask me, what are the two oils everyone needs in their home? And I, I truly, for immune support, as well as just like a healthy, happy home, Breathe and On Guard are going to help you so much for um, fighting off environmental threats and really um, helping your natural antioxidant defenses. So it cleanses your air. It's proven to, um, to kill 99.9% .9 of bacteria. And it's a great one for all purpose spray, um, taking with you to travel, diffuse in your hotel rooms, um, as well as just diffuse at bedtime and cleanse your air. So here's our On Guard collection. I'm obsessed. I have all of these. Um, for a while, I resisted the hand pumps because I wanted some cute decorative ones. But um, honestly, I can say I use all of these and I, I feel that they help support me and my boyfriend um, immensely with travel, with um, protecting our home from just people coming in and out from visiting. And um, not that they're like super, super unhealthy, but it just helps our our home stay protected and able to fight off whatever comes and goes. And then Digesen. So you heard me talk a lot about my issues with this. Um, Digesen is beautiful. I remember when I got this on Christmas and I was just, this is when things changed for me. I wasn't doing the business yet. I got Digesen for Christmas and I was like, you know what, I'm so hopeful for this. I made the mistake though of putting this one in a, in a plastic cup um, so again, if you use this one internally, make sure it's a glass jar or stainless steel water bottle. I, I feel like I kind of experimented with all the different not to, so I'm trying to help you guys out. Um, but yeah, just, just growing up with feelings of nausea during road trips, um, stress and not being able to digest change um, emotionally. Um, this oil is just so beautiful for helping any discomfort, bloating, gas, occasional indigestion. And especially around the holidays, um, you'll want to have this oil with you for you and your family um, after eating and kind of trying things you don't normally eat. So some simple next steps. Um, I love this. This again is from Whole Fit, my mentor, this quote. And it says, do what you can with what you have where you are. So maybe you're going through this and they're like, holy crap, this is a lot of information. There's so many oils. How will I ever um, know how to use all of them? Um, it's the same with food. It's, it could, like for me, the grocery stores are super overwhelming. I get really intimidated by them. I don't know why. Maybe it's all the people. Maybe it's all the choices. Um, but again, choose organic when you can. Um, whole foods as much as possible. Like try to keep it simple. Um, have powerful essential oils at your fingertips. So empower yourself with having these tools for when someone does get a tummy ache, when someone does feel fatigued, when you're lacking energy and you need to uplift the household spirits. Um, and then commit to your personal education and being the health advocate for your home. So really, you don't have to know it all, but um, commit to looking up your answers. And I'll show you some resources. Commit to that personal education that if you don't know an answer, you are going to look into it um, and make the time because this is important to you. And then lastly, surround yourself with those who have similar goals to you and just people that are going to uplift you and support you in this journey. And for those of you that might not feel you have that support right now, know that this Happy Highest You Oil Tribe is exactly meant for that. And this is exactly where you need to be. So I'm so happy to have you. And for the month of September, we actually have 20% off on select enrollment kits. So the one that I took you through on this journey was our home essentials kit, which is our top 10 essential oils um, in our petal diffuser. And then we have our emotional aromatherapy kit on the bottom left, which comes with our Lumo diffuser and six different emotional blends. And then our natural solutions kit on the right. So you have everything from your hair, shampoo, conditioner, that deep blue rub, your breathe respiratory blend, vapor stick, um, your Correct X, your antibacterial ointment, um, digestive supplements, hand soap. This is the kit. If you are really, you just want natural solutions for like all of it, I can tell you I have <laughs> every single thing in that kit now. Um, but I started with the emotional 
eventually got the home essentials and now I have acquired this natural solutions kit in my home. So if I had the funds and were go to do it again, I would totally do the natural solutions kit to start. Um, but yeah, simple steps to get started. Join our Happy Highest You Oil community with one of these kits, um, giving you this 25% off um, for wholesale pricing throughout the whole year to follow. Um, and some people get confused. Do I have to do the business? Um, can I just be a customer? Um, literally, so there's three different ways you can go with doTERRA. You can be a customer and simply order whenever, actually there's four ways, but the first one is customer. Order as you want, um, whenever you want, no obligations. The second one is you can become a customer and be part of our monthly rewards program, which I did a video on this too. So feel free to use the search bar and just type in what is the loyalty rewards program and our happy highest you tribe. Um, and there's a whole video on that on how you can get free product, how you can build up your percentage um, and use points to be able to send to your family as gifts or um, reward yourself and some free products for spending each month. Um, so I won't go into that too much. But then lastly, there is an option to share with friends and family and earn a commission for that. Um, and the fourth one is to build the business. So to build this business, mentor the builders underneath you, teach classes, um, et cetera. So I'll go into a little bit more about that too. But basically, simple steps to get started. You choose an enrollment kit. You have this community. You get access to... Um, to major value right here on the right. We have a whole membership site specifically for when you get enrolled with Team Zenbabe. So you get, um, you get eBooks on sleep, skincare, um, yoga and meditation. You get like all these classes that we've done um, and, you, and you get um, access to a lot of courses as well. So, um, it's not just that you get started with this kit and that's it. We take care of you. We teach you how to use them. We send you um, this membership site and information on reference books and how to get started um, educating yourself and using your oils um, so you don't have to feel alone. And on the left is our books. So we actually have an essential life book that we call our oil Bible, which has a number of different subjects from like athletes, um, skin care, um, sleep, and then it will like tell you a bunch of different oils and specifics on that. But then you can also um, look up a specific ailment that you're struggling with and it will give you your top like five oils to use for that. And then on in the middle column, it's our apps. I actually have the Modern Essential app for, it says $9.99, but I'm not sure if that's the actual price. It might be different in the US. This is a Canada picture. Um, but yeah, Modern Essential app is basically like this oil Bible book in digital form. And you can just like use the search bar to type in like um, head tension and kind of see what oils come up for that. And then obviously we have our doTERRA website where you can go read some blog posts, um, learn how to use your oils for cooking, um, and then also read a bit more about the science and our sourcing from doTERRA. And lastly, I wanted to touch on the business opportunity. So for those of you that have been following my journey, you know that I started um, this business back around March of 2017. And it's been a ride. It's been amazing. I've met so many new people. I've re um, reestablished some of my old relationships with people. And it's it's been so incredible being able to share my knowledge, share my teaching, but also watch people say yes to their health and watch people take, take their um, power back and use these natural tools and be able to provide for themselves and feel happier and healthier. Um, and so it's, it's been amazing. And I, I love where my team is going, where the Zen Babe Tribe team is going. As you can see, there's a couple different um, vibes that we really hold true with our team, role modeling, ownership, determination, impact, growth mindset, flexibility, and forgiveness. Those are our vibes that we really want to attract within this business opportunity. And then we also have our guiding principles. So we are one tribe working to support, share, um, scaling our business on a, on a larger level, 
reaching people that we couldn't even imagine, helping people, you know, just really spreading this thing and spreading this knowledge of essential oils because there's so many people that really don't know about them yet. Um, and then skill building. So really like a personal development journey of um, growing yourself and, and teaching and becoming this leader. Um, and we also are one tribe specializing. So really using our unique gifts and talents in order to bring this business to be what it is we want in our own way, but also feeling supported with this Arise program in the middle um, where we take you through a launch for your business and show you how you can do this, how you can teach classes so you don't feel alone and you, and you know what you're doing. And so these are my lovely teammates, Rachel on the left and Alicia, my mentor that has changed my life forever. Both of these women are amazing. And um, Alicia on the right lives in San Diego and Rachel on the left lives in Iowa. So I am so excited to be able to offer you guys this. I'm actually looking for three committed, capable people that really are loving their oils right now. I would love to mentor you through this process and show you how you can bring this into your life. When I started this business, it was more of a side gig, just looking to be able to pay for my oils. So again, with, um, with doTERRA, you can be a customer, you can be on LRP, you can be a sharer and do this as like a little side hustle and be able to pay for your oils, be able to share with your friends and family, or you can build this business and actually make um, additional income and supported income to your current business as well. So if you're interested in this opportunity, please reach out. I would love to help you go through this program and you would, you'll get a number of coaching calls from me so you can get support in exactly what your goals are, um, who you want to reach out to and how you're going to do this. So you, you don't have to figure this out all on your own. You have this team of support. And I think that's all I wanted to cover. Um, if you guys have any questions after watching this video, um, I'm actually going to just link um, how you can order your essential oils. If someone else added you to this group, like I said, I have um, Rachel Pins. She's doing the business in this group as well and a couple others. If someone else referred you to doTERRA essential oils, please reach out to them on how you can get started. But if I was the one that introduced you to this group in essential oils, um, you can click this link that I'll put in the comments and it will, you'll just scroll down and be able to find the simple steps in order to get started and get 20% off your enrollment kit this month. So thanks so much for watching. Again, the ones going forward won't be as long, but I wanted to provide you with all the information as well as introduce you to the business opportunity as some of you might not even know we have one. So thanks again. Love you guys. I hope you all have a beautiful, beautiful week and I will talk to you guys soon.